Good morning, kindergarten friends. Good morning, kindergarten friends. Today for reading, <clears throat> we are going to be reading another nonfiction story. We've been reading a lot of nonfiction in our classroom and also at home. And today we will be reading another nonfiction story. The title of this nonfiction story is A Baby Penguin Story. And this story is written to teach me about type baby penguins. I will learn facts and information from this story. We've been practicing a lot of one of our reading strategies of wondering. What do we wonder while we're reading? And when I read this story to you today, I'm going to ask you to turn and talk to a partner. So you do need your mom or your dad or someone at home that can listen to the story and you can turn and talk to them. If you don't have anybody to talk to, you could set up a stuffed animal and pretend, but I really would love if you have a real person with you. That way, when you turn and talk to them, you can practice making eye contact with that person and they can respond to you and you can take turns. So parents, if possible, please, um, if you could just set aside a little bit of time today for this activity. Normally with reading, you're going to have to do that with your kindergarten child. So let's get to it. A baby penguin story. This is by Martha E.H. Rusted and Gail Saunders Smith. A baby penguin story. Okay, let's see. Here we go. So maybe if I show you guys the picture and I'll look at the words here. A white egg sits in a rocky nest. A tired dad sits on top. Pip! The egg cracks. Out hatches a fluffy penguin chick. Cheep, chatter, peep. The tiny chick is hungry. Its mom spits up fish into its open mouth. Burr, shiver, ah, uh, cuddle. Mom huddles around her chick. In its icy world, the chick stays warm. So I'm going to stop here and I'm going to ask you a question that I want you to think about. What did you learn about how adult penguins take care of their chicks? I learned that, go ahead and think. Remember the dad. I remember the mom. Okay, go ahead, turn and talk to your mom or dad about what you learned about how adult penguins take care of their chicks. Five, four, Three, two, one. And just as a reminder, you can always pause it. If you need a little more time, parents, you can always pause it. So in its icy world, the chick stays warm. Hello, who are you? The chick finds friends in its colony. A colony is a group of penguins that live together in the same area. The chick finds friends in its colony. Baby chicks play while their parents find food. Waddle, waddle, belly slide. The young penguins go for an icy ride. Back they hop across rocky ground. Molt, scratch, pick. Fluffy feathers fall off the chick. With its beak, it preens. Preens means to clean and arrange the feathers with the beak. With its beak, it preens new waterproof feathers. Okay, so I'm going to stop and I'm going to ask you to think, what did you learn and what do you wonder? So up to this point, I learned that, I wonder if, I wonder how, 
I wonder why. I wonder when. So go ahead. You can always pause it if you need. Take a moment. What did you learn and what do you wonder? Five, four, three, two, one. With its beak, it preens new waterproof feathers. Splish, splash, it's time to learn swift swimming skills. The penguin chick needs speed to catch a tasty swarm of krill. Krill are small shrimp-like animals. The penguin needs speed to catch a tasty swarm of krill. <clears throat> you go first. No, you jump in. Through cold ocean waves, penguins seem to fly. Their wings act as flippers. Flippers are body parts that help them swim. And I can use my picture here to help me figure out what flippers mean. Their wings act as flippers. The chick swims up for air. It dives deep down. Catch a fish, swallow it live, yum. Now it's time for goodbye. The young penguin is off to catch fishy snacks. Someday it will return to build its own nest. So after listening to the story about baby chicks, I want you to think about what are you wondering? I wonder how, I wonder if, I wonder when, I wonder who, I wonder. Hmm, you can make your wondering face, I wonder. Hmm. Okay, so now you're going to turn and talk to your mom or dad. I want you to make sure you make eye contact with mom or dad and you talk with them. You look at them. Lola sees somebody walking by my house. <laughs> Lola, shh, 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 good girl. So you're going to turn and talk to your mom or dad. Try to make eye contact with them and talk about what you're wondering. If you want to pause it, you can. I'll just give you a moment. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, boys and girls, I also wanted to show you, um, I should have showed you in the beginning, but I'm just gonna show you now. One of my nonfiction text features that we have been learning about in school and I want you to continue to talk about when you're reading at home is a glossary. A glossary is usually at the back of a nonfiction book and it gives important words from the story and it tells you what they mean. Some of these words, I did stop and tell you their meanings while we were reading like colony, a group of animals that live together in the same area, or krill, a small shrimp-like animal. There's also some other neat words like swarm or molt. Molt is an interesting word. I, I wouldn't be surprised if somebody wondered what molt meant from the story. So you can find your glossary at the end of this nonfiction book. So boys and girls, your job today is going to be to read IDR, Independent Daily Reading. You can use Raz Kids. You can use a real book. Um, if possible, if you can read some nonfiction, that would be great. But you don't have to. You can read fiction and nonfiction. But your goal should be to sit and read for about 10 minutes. Remember, there's all different levels of reading. Some of us are reading the pictures. Some of us are using the pictures and the words. It really depends on you. So you could set a timer, get comfortable, find a comfy spot, and you can read for about 10 minutes today. So boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed learning about baby penguins today. Tomorrow, we're going to be listening to another story about a different baby animal. So until then, I love you, I miss you, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye, kindergarten friends.